All right, guys, I'm back with more jewelry. So, I'm gonna slide that, see, big old box. I'm gonna slide that out of the way and start pulling stuff out. Here's a lot of pins. Really like this one. Gideon's under the table chewing on his toenails, if you can hear him. Gideon's my dog, by the way. <laughs> one. That one is signed. Sarah Coventry. This one. I think this one might be a good one to put in my Valentine's Day sale coming up. This one's definitely a good one to put in a Valentine's Day sale. And it is marked. I think it's marked LC, but I can't tell. No way. No, I don't know. I think it's LC. I'm gonna put those two flower ones in the in the sale. We got this beautiful faux marcasat. It's really pretty. Really, really pretty. So it's a nice little lot right there. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, one day I'm gonna stop hitting the camera or I'm gonna get a better way to film or something. <sighs> okay, another lot of pins. Oh, this one is nice. It's nice and heavy. It is marked Ultra Craft. Look at this piece. Isn't it gorgeous? There we go. That piece is awesome. It's got a little bit of wear, but wow. Yeah, I like that one. A nice little moose. Where does the pendant for a brooch? I'm really surprised this isn't marked best. A nice little bear. Nice and thick. Cute little horse. It's a mother of pearl. And then we got a nice orca whale. Or maybe it's an elephant. I don't know. That one's really nice though. All the rhinestones. And if you ever see anything you like, you can message me or you can check me out on whatnot, Macari or eBay. Right. Got some Christmas ones. It's never too early to start planning for next Christmas. And I'm still selling Christmas brooches, believe it or not. Got this really nice thick Santa Claus pin. Approach. A little articulated Christmas present swinging down there. Candy canes. Candy canes did really good last Christmas. The candy cane brooches. Got this little one that says jingle and has little, sorry guys, has little bells, but they do not, they don't make any noise. So that was a missed opportunity. Then we have this nice Santa. And he is marked AAI. Nice little lot there. Now, Friday on whatnot, no, Saturday. 
Friday the event starts up together with Thrifty Treasures and the Lavender Hair. We got together and we've got a Valentine Jewelry Extravaganza going on and whatnot. The 27th through the 29th. This is a nice painted piece. And I will be on After Cat the Nurse Flipper. I've got the V. On Saturday, the um, 28th at 5 p.m. Eastern. So if you'd like to stop by, you don't have to buy anything. Just would really, you know, be nice to have some extra people there. And you can find me on there as well as Bling a Ding Ding. That's my name across all the platforms, social media and all that. That was another great bag. So right now I'm pulling out stuff for that. I am also, I got an owl jewelry show today, which this will come out after that sale. We got a mushroom. Mushrooms are hot right now. You know, I was saying all along, 70s stuff is making a huge comeback. Really nice rhinestone flag. A little bit right there, but it bended back really easy. This one is interesting and it's marked. Hmm. What is the mark on this? Oh, this is marked Germany. I don't know if that's abalone or mother of pearl. And they set this nice little etched gold frame. It's nice. This one's interesting. Marquee rhinestone there. First, I thought it might be copper, and then I turned it over. No, it's some somebody who likes really artistic stuff will like that. This one is Artique Limited Cloisonne. Little bird, and it says. C-H-U-N-A. I don't know what that... First I thought it said Chana, but no, it says Chuna. Here's the mushroom. How awesome is that? I mean, they're recreating things like this now, but you can tell this is the real deal. Love brooches. There's an earring. People do love clip earrings. Well, these are pierced earrings, but you know what? You take these off of these little cards and they look so much better. This is they're actually really pretty. Look at how that's a really nice blue. That is a really, really nice blue. One of these came off her finger. Get that back home here. Again, you know, don't pay attention to the hanger. Those are gorgeous. Some red ones. See, I mean, I 
really don't know why people actually use these. Look how much better that looks off of the, yeah. Looks so much better. Okay, these. came off the thing. I think it's because the holes are too big. But these are really, really pretty. But hey, you know, people who run auctions keep putting them on these cards because I'll snatch them up while others overlook them. So hey. <laughs> are good if you're, you know, selling in a flea, you know, a, um, antique booth or something. You need to hang them up. But otherwise, I just think you can make them look so much better. Really nice. Brace, I guess this is bracelet. Yeah, bracelet. I had to check the length. I'm like, oh, no, it's not a necklace. Ooh, this will be perfect for one of my bling a ding dang sales, which I usually run on Saturdays, but not this Saturday. This I kind of thought with the owl sale in mind, but honestly, I am probably not going to put it in the owl sale because I think I could get more money for it elsewhere. I don't know. It's a gorgeous piece. I mean, this is a really nice piece. Can't tell if that's a mark or not. I don't think so. I don't know. I may put it in the buy it now section of the sale. His eye is a little rough. Almost looks like he's got some glue or something on it. But, wow, that's a beautiful piece. So I'll think about it. I love selling jewelry. It's just such a You're really be happy. Alexa, stop. <laughs> Alexa just all wants to start to start playing to music. I'm trying to figure out how this goes. Oh, that's how it that's how it goes. It's really pretty. Jewelry, if you want to be a reseller, jewelry is such a great niche to learn because, you can, well, I'm going to do a video on that. Just suffice it to say that I think it's a very great niche. Got this green, I might put this in the St. Patrick's Day sale. This is great. And then this one, I love these accordion style bracelets. Well, actually, this one's not an accordion, but these that stretch, they have the metal rather than string or whatever. This one's nice. Love the bling, obviously. So, over on whatnot, I don't just sell jewelry. I also have, like, vintage home decor sales. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm going to show them to you off the card because just, wow. Dang. 
Is that not gorgeous? Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. You know, sometimes you get these pieces and they're actually so much better than you expected, which is really nice. So, those are incredible. Those would be great in a seashell. They're very mermaid-esque. There's these, again, would look so much better off the card. And there's these, oh God, these are gorgeous. There's these. Very partial to the stone, or that color of bronze stone. Rivoli. I am um, born in September. So blue sapphire is my best stone. which I'm going to do a pin sale at some point. I also sell plush on there. I sell a lot of different things. There's some. That'll be great for Saturday. Set that off to the side. We got this. Uniting the World. Atlanta, 1996. Olympics pin. Lone Star State. Thrifty Treasures, if you're watching this, hey. I'd love to go to Texas. Phoenix Rotter Club. I think this is in reference to Harry Potter, but I could be wrong. This Owl Crate subscription box, I think, does books. Am I, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Genuine turquoise little snake. Ooh, that'll probably do pretty well. It was originally four fifty, like a bajillion years ago. That's awesome. Oh, gosh, I never can remember this artist, but he's really big in like the late eighties. That'll do well. Love pins are so much fun. This one is, what is this? I think it's butterflies. And we got a little bell. I've sold this before. I wonder if this one is turquoise and coral, but I don't know. Little angel. Okay, there's a little cross on a cup. Maybe it doesn't. No, wouldn't go that way. The cross would be upside down. Um, and a little candle. This one almost looks like pewter. So those are fun. And this will probably at least be able to sell for like ten bucks. And that's more than made the money back on this lot of pins. This one is Jerry's. And let's see, we have a little wreath. Also Jerry's. So that tiger may have been Jerry's. Yep. And then we have, oh, yep. St. Patrick's Day. This is great. Also Jerry's. Great little lot. So far, I'm very happy with this stuff. Very, very happy. Looks like some 
Yep, earrings. Go ahead and dump those out. Some clip earrings can do very, very well. These are very dainty and delicate. Well, they're not dainty, but they're delicate. So we have those. We have these. Tigers are. Those are great. These are marked. Right off, I don't recognize the maker, but I'll check it out later. We got some different hoops, or you know, half hoops. Sure, you know, just good to have in your collection if you just want something simple to pop on that day. All right, these little silver hoops, half hoop. Well, no, these are actually hoops, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Then these. Ooh. We have a bracelet, a nice bangle. It's like these are two different pieces, so you've got the back piece and then this raised piece. Gives it nice dimension. There's a lot in this box. I think these are clip, yep, clip earrings. Okay, we have the black beaded ones. Nice Look at these. These look like they probably had something hanging down off of them at some point. These little black rings, hoops. These are stunning. Hmm. Can't believe they're not sewed. Nice back. And then these. These are kind of plain, but. Valentine's Day! Woohoo! Ouch. This one's Hallmark. No. This is Easter Unlimited. Oink if you love me. How cute is that? And then we have two of the Snoopies. Beam on. Um, Snoopy 1958, which that's just the syndicate date. That doesn't mean it's that old. This one is older though. Look at this Cupid. Woo! Just throw it. Made in Hong Kong. I think that's what this is. And then we have a little bear. 
see, see, ah. That wake if you love me, she's great. Love that. Little price start. Oh, this one's really pretty. Actually, I might put that in the Valentine's Day sale. This is kind of looks like X's. I mean, I know it's flowers. It kind of reminds me of X's and O's. So I don't know. More clip earrings. This looks like it's a lot. A lot. We have some shell earrings. These triangular domed. And this is classic white ovals. Pearl clip stud style. These are awesome. Let's see if they go that way. Those are great. Another pair of faux pearl. And then the last ones are these. Almost look like um, I don't know orchids or lilies. They're very well made. They are unmarked. This is a good box, y'all. Very good box. And another nice brooch. Oh, this one's very modern. It is nice and shiny. This one is a really pretty color. Oh, it's a wire necklace. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. Love the colors. Pretty sure that's just an acrylic. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just acrylic, but it's really nice. Even the back looks good. I think we're getting to the, well, we're, we're getting close. Sorry. More clips, and these are definitely not some vintage. We have these red ones. Put these in the Valentine's Day sale. I want to have nice pops of red in the sale. Oh, these are great. Those are awesome. In the sale good this spring. These, those are nice as well, nice enamel. I just get so excited about jewelry. It's just so much fun to look at, and you know, selling things like this. It's you know something you're passionate about is so important. Here's the necklace. Wait, maybe it's a break. 
bracelet. I don't know. No, it's a necklace. This is an interesting necklace. La Lahoba? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Okay, so with my strand, it's got these little coins on it. I don't know if those are real pearls or not. I don't think so. I don't know. I'll have to check them out. Really nice round stones at the top. Yeah, that's an interesting piece. dollars for this box. All oh, this good stuff. Okay, this one is in moi. So nothing nothing fancy, but I do like the charm the necklaces, nice boho style. Cameo one. You'll never see if it's cold. She does need a good cleaning. Oh wait, well yeah, like that part of her face does, but that's like her earring. Domed glass. glass yeah that's glass that's really pretty I think I'll put that in the Valentine's Day sale as well mother brooch that's nice dragonfly a nice back to it after a while you know you may be thinking if you if you're new to jewelry I don't know just after you've looked at so many pieces you you begin to learn what's good and what's not good this is a little locket As I'm going through my jewelry this week, any heart lockets will be going into um, the Valentine's sale. All right, these are screw back earrings. Definitely older. Oh, those are pretty. Let's see. It, well, somebody said that they stopped making screwbacks in the 70s. And I don't know if that's true. These definitely look like 60s or 70s. These are awesome. Great for St. Patrick's Day. I should really probably store a box for that. Because I'm going to have to go back through all these and find them again. So I guess these have kind of changed, or maybe when they were made. So little flowers in acrylic, I'm guessing, or lusa. I don't, I don't know the difference between lusa and acrylic. That's something I've been trying to research. Oh, those are pretty. I've never tried wearing the screw back earrings. But I've heard they're pretty brutal. <laughs> but they're so pretty. Is that one missing? Nope. 
it's there. Oh, these are pretty, pretty, pretty. Where's the other one? Look at those. God, those are gorgeous. These green stones, these would also be great for, these are actual stone. Also be great for St. Patrick's Day. Here's these, if I can get them turned right, we'll just use this one, or show this one, that's what they look like. And then the last pair is just some little acrylic black ones. <clears throat> Surely we're almost done. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining, because wow, is this a lot of stuff for a little bit of money. And this seller that I buy from does not charge shipping if you spend $100. So, that's always awesome. These are clips. Gorgeous. Oh, wow, those are gorgeous, too. And then we've got these little rhinestone ones. These are gorgeous. Oh my god, they're all gorgeous. <laughs> I cannot go wrong with rhinestones. Oh, and all these uh, owl pieces over here for days, too. The nice red and black, or red and gray, sort of black. Let's see who made this piece. If it's even got a... This is Express. Really pretty piece. Double layer. A key necklace. I'm get it all straightened out. It's not wanting to. All right, there we go. It's unmarked, but. I don't know how that straightened out. Okay, anyway. Keys. Pink rhinestones. Possibly the Valentine's Day sale. You know, keys to my heart and all that. More vintage earrings. More of the little pearl ones. These are screw backs. Really, really like these. I feel like enamel.
seeds. These are not, these are heavier. These are etched. These are awesome. Okay. Um, then the little silver. Which, you know, when I picked them up, I saw they were just silver, but now they got that really pretty blue and pink. Got some more of the lucite or acrylic. Got little candles in them. Those beautiful little rhinestones. And then the last pair. These. I really need to get a gem tester. Okay, these are pennies. Harry Potter, Ravenclaw, Iron must be tested. I don't know what that's from. This is Happy Birthday Hard Rock Hotel in Orlando. Another rose. I don't got one more. A couple pew pews, <laughs> as YouTube would prefer I call them. I think they're missing round stones. They're cute. Um, a little teacher pin, a little round stone flower. Scales. 2000. A little angel. Number one mom. She'll probably have a Mother's Day sale too. At some point. A little crown. Okay, we are almost done. I think we got two more pieces. This one. I don't think I see any marks on it. It's just really pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. Pretty sure this is the last piece. Yep, last piece. And this is Chico's. Chico's has such great stuff. This one's a pink and orange shell. With little gold square beads. This is going to be a great one for people who love boho style. Which I'm thinking about doing a boho show. I love boho style. But that is this box. Holy crap, it's filled with goodness. Hope you liked it. And I will see you in the next one. We've got lots more jewelry to go through. So be sure to check back. Be sure to check out that sale on Saturday. It's going to be a lot of fun. Tune in for the whole, you know, if you love jewelry, tune in for the whole event. Starts early Friday morning, goes through late night Sunday. All right.
Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss a video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!